Now that we've gotten the basics out of the way, in this lecture we'll begin working on our holiday planning app. We'll be keeping the functionality of the app quite simple, but as you'll see, even a simple app requires a lot of testing. So let's start by allowing the user to add places they'd like to visit to a list by adding new functions to our controller. The first thing we'll need is a list of destinations. So let's start by adding scope.destinations is equal to an empty array. Next, we'll need an object to store each new destination before it's added. Destination is equal to an object, and let's say each destination should have at least a city and a country. And finally, we're going to need a function to add the new destination to the list of destinations. So let's do scope.addDestination is equal to a function and in this function all we'll need to do is scope.destinations.push and in here we'll pass a new object with the value specified in new destination so the new object city is scope.newDestination.city and the new object country is equal to scope.newDestination.country The reason I'm not passing in the new destination object directly is because I don't want the user to be able to edit the input fields and see the destination in the list change as well. Okay, so this should do it for our JavaScript code. Save and let's move on to the HTML. Now before we start, let's just make this a bit more semantic. So let's put this in a header and an h1 tag. Cut this and paste it here. That already looks much better. Now for our new code, add a new section and in this section we'll add a form. Now in this form, we're going to ask the user for a city input name is equal to city type is text and our ng model is equal to new destination dot city and we'll also need to ask for the country so let's do the same thing input name is equal to country the type is text and ng model points to new destination dot country and finally we'll need a button to submit our new destination so another input this time of type submit and the value is at and before we forget, let's add the ng submit function on the form. So ng submit should call the add destination function. Okay, let's just see what this looks like in the browser. So I've got our form over here and our input elements, but there isn't anywhere to show our list of destinations yet. So let's add that before we continue. Let's add a new section. and add another title 
this time an h2 tag and let's call it your trip now in here we're going to need a div with an ng repeat on it now let's say for each destination in destinations we need to show the following so we'll do a span and in the span we want the city of the destination to show and the country of the destination let's check that out in the browser so let's refresh and now let's try adding a city so London England click add and there we have it let's just add another one to make sure it works let's do Rome and Italy great so our app seems to be working now let's test it to make sure that we'll never break it in the future open up our unit spec file add a new it block and in here we'll specify the title and the actual test to be done so for this test the controller should add two destinations to the destinations list and since before we moved all of our setup code into before each we don't need to stay injecting the controller or the scope into this test because it's already been done before so we can start writing our test code straight away the first thing we'll need to do is check that the destination list is empty when the controller is initialized so let's start writing expect scope dot destinations dot to be defined we also expect scope dot destinations dot length to be zero at first. Now let's create a new destination object in the scope. Scope dot new destination is equal to a new object and let's give it a city London and the country England and now let's call the add destination function so if the function is working as it should we expect that the destination list now contains a new destination with city London and country England so let's write a test for that so we expect that scope dot destinations dot length is now one. We also expect scope dot destinations at zero dot city to be London. And we expect scope.destinations zero dot country to be England. So let's try running our test at this point. Karma starts app js test karma config. So far so good. Let's add another destination and see if the test still works. So let's change the scope dot new destination city to be Frankfurt and change the country to be Germany. Now let's 
add the destination again. And let's just copy paste the previous tests. And just change the expectations. So now we expect the length to be 2. We expect destinations at 1 to be Frankfurt and the country to be Germany. Save and let's check our test. So Karma noticed that we updated our test and it still passed. Great. Now the reason that I wanted to test adding two destinations and not just one was to make sure that the second destination is being added to the end of the array and not just replacing the first one. So to finish off our test, let's just make sure that the destination at position 0 is still London, England. So all we need to do is copy and paste this again and add it to the end of our test. And if we save and head on back over to Karma, our test should still be passing. Great. So in this lecture, we've covered how to test functions and variables in the scope and controller. The app is also going to need a remove destination function. I'll show you how to code it and test it in the next lecture, but you already know all that you need to try it out and surf. So take it up as a practice exercise before the next lecture and see how far you get.